Debbie with Food Prepping Channel, and it's that time, y'all. It's going to be getting cold really soon, and thinking about stuff that you want to fix when it does get cold. And one of the things that's my favorite is beans. I've got two pounds here of great northern beans. I didn't soak them. I did go through them, um, pick out all the, what I think of as bad beans or whatever, and rinse them off really good. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to cook them in my Instant Pot. The easiest thing you will ever do. You don't have to worry about stirring them. You don't have to worry about any of that. Any of that. You just put them in there, let them go, and in 30 minutes, no, 40 minutes, You've got some amazing beans. All right, so this is two pounds of great northern beans. The first thing I'm going to put in here is I'm, instead of using water, I'm using chicken broth. I've got six, about six cups of chicken broth that I'm putting in here. Look at the muscles in my arms. <laughs> I wish. All right, so there's four cups. And this is 14.5, almost six cups. This is reduced sodium chicken broth. That's going in here. And then I've got what my grandma called fat back, but at the store they call it salted pork. Um... I cut it in half the other day by mistake. So I'm just putting pieces of this in there. Some of them are really thick. And I'm going to put... Yeah, these are really thick pieces. All right, I don't have my tablespoon measure. So I'm going to put... A teaspoon and a half of coarse ground black pepper in here and a half and I'm going to put two and a half teaspoons of kosher salt in here there's one two and a half all right I forgot to get a spoon Stir this up. Get this all stirred up. All right, and now I'm going to pour the two pounds of great northern beans in here. Let me see. Oh, I think I'm going to have to put some more water in. I think I'm going to have to put some water in here, y'all. I don't think that that's... I love the soup. I'm going to fix some cornbread. And I love the bean soup or whatever. Whatever it's... I call it the soup from the beans or whatever. I'm going to put that over my cornbread along with some of the beans. So let me get some more water and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. All right, here's... Two more cups of water in here. All right, let me stir these up again. Oh, these are gonna be so good. All right, I'm gonna put my lid on. Make sure that it's, see on the IP, the IP Lux, you have venting on both sides. And you can go venting on both sides. And to get it to sealing, it kind of like drops down in there. It just drops down into sealing the sealing thing. Let me get you back down here. 
because I want y'all to see this exactly what I'm doing so you'll know the instant pot any pressure cooker these days is so safe and you don't unless you've got the kind that my mom used <laughs> which when she you know when I was growing up or whatever I, I've never even used one of those I don't I would be scared to use those because I remember I mean mama never was scared but I think I would be all right so we're gonna go manual we're gonna take it up to 30 minutes and we're gonna let it go and then when it finishes we're gonna let it sit um, for probably between 10 and 15 minutes before we let the final pressure off of it and um, I'll show them to you so I will bring you back okay my beans have um, it's been 16 minutes I'm gonna let the pressure off and you see the steam coming off and then I'm going to it's for dinner but I'm gonna try them when it comes down for pressure I'm gonna get a little bowl a little paper bowl or whatever and try them and I'll bring you back okay y'all all right I got the beans out they're dry I've got to put four more cups. There's a little bit of water in there. But I'm going to put four more cups of water in there. And just let them, um, <laughs> I guess I'm probably going to put it on seared. They're done. But <laughs> I don't know if you can see some of them. Are, can you see that one? It's like over on the side. I mean, see, it's still hard. So I don't know what to do. Um, it was eight cups. I used um, six cups of broth and then two more cups of water. So that's eight cups. And I guess I'm just going to go on. I think what I'm going to go on and do is put four more cups of water in there and let them come up to pressure for five minutes and then just let them sit. So I will bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, my beans are, um, I let them cook for three minutes, three more minutes, and now I'm just letting them um, sit or whatever, and I'm going to fix, this is like a what's for dinner. I'm going to fix some pork chops in my Instant Pot gym. This is just an Instant Pot night. Um... So in here I've got a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of avocado oil. And I'm just going to put my pork chops in here and I'm going to sear them. Let's go on and put them in. I've got five thin cut pork chops. And like I said, I'm just going to let these sear. Whoops, I hit the camera. Sear in here. All right, and I'm going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on these. I'm not seasoning them any, with anything else but just salt and pepper because I'm going to, once these get seared, I'm going to put some, um, I've got to check and see whether I've got more cream of celery or more cream of mushroom. I'm going to put a can of whichever cream soup, I'll let y'all know, in here and a can of water, and I'm just going to let these bake on um i think 350 for probably an hour and then i'm going to make a gravy out of what's left so let me go on and put the uh, pepper on here i use just regular morton iodized salt um all right somebody's at my door i'll have to bring you back okay it's my daughter all right so let me finish putting the pepper on here and i'm gonna sear these 
and then I'm gonna put the um, cream soup on here and I will bring you back okay I'm back all right these have seared now and I'm gonna go on and I've got two cans of cream of celery soup just great value cream of celery soup that I'm going to put in here and I'm going to put in um, about two cups of water and I'm gonna let these and a half a stick of butter and I'm just gonna let these cook on my instant pot gym on bake it's on 350 for two hours and I will bring it up okay um, here it is I've got this it's on, on my instant pot it's on bake 400 and you can see I'm probably gonna have to turn it down it's um, really <laughs> boiling and it's on bake so I'm probably gonna have to turn it down to like 350 but I will bring you back okay all right so I've got the pork chops are in my instant pot gym the northern beans are in my instant pot my instant pot instant pot <laughs> and now I'm gonna fix some cornbread and this is the easiest way to fix it that you'll ever fix it I've got my cast iron skillet is in the oven on 450 it's got a little bit of oil in it I'm heating it up because I want that crust on my cornbread so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put about two cups maybe a little bit more about two and a half cups of cornmeal in here I have made I didn't have any buttermilk and so I have made some by taking a cup of milk well it's about two cups of milk and putting about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in here and that's the way that you make buttermilk if you don't have any buttermilk all you've got to do is take milk and add vinegar to it and that makes the buttermilk now I've got to get an egg and I'll be right back okay I'm back all right so I'm gonna put one egg one large egg in here with this my milk has been sitting and you can <laughs> You should be able to see how thick it is now. It's just like buttermilk. All right. And I'm going to pour this milk in here. And then I'm going to put about two tablespoons of Crisco vegetable oil in here. And I'm going to get my daughter's friend to bring my pan in here because the other day I dropped it in the floor and the oil went everywhere. So I'm going to get her to get out my cast iron skillet and bring it in here. And I'm going to pour this in my cast iron skillet and let y'all hear the sound that it makes because I want that crust on here. Oh, this is going to be so good. I can't wait to have this cornbread. All right, let me put this back down here because this um, pan is going to be extremely hot. Kim, you need to move over a little bit so your arm doesn't get burnt because that pan, you got the, the, uh, uh, the things, Jess? Make sure you get two or three of the pot holders. Just sit it right there. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah. All right, I'm going to move this down. This is going to be so hot, y'all, but I want you to hear the, when it, the sizzling that it makes when I pour this in here. You hear it? And that's going to make that crust on the bottom that you want with cornbread. So I had my pan in there for a good 30 minutes on 450. 
And when I take this back in there in the oven, I'm gonna cut it down to uh, about 425 and let this cook until the top gets really brown. So I will bring you back. Dinner's almost ready. And I will bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Here is my plate. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to end this really fast because look at my beans. They are going to be amazing. Here's my cornbread. Look at it. Oh, 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 it's the, got the, oh, it's crispy top on it. My pork chops, mashed potatoes. These are just the Bob Evans mashed potatoes. And then this is my little thing of applesauce. My daughter's here. She's not eating nothing, but her friend is here, and she's eating honey on her cornbread, which I've never had that. It does sound good, but I like cornbread and applesauce and pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> We're having pork chops and applesauce. Um, so pork chops, northern beans, mashed potatoes, cornbread, applesauce. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below to links for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and also uh, links to things that I use in my kitchen. The, the links will be below from Amazon. You can purchase them at Amazon. And I'm, I keep looking at this food, and I can hardly talk because I'm so hungry. It is 5 to 9. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. I will talk to you later. Y'all have a good day. Bye. <laughs>